Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, bringing you the start of my Brink hard difficulty video walkthrough. And welcome you, I do, to the digital joke that is this game. Brink is quite possibly the single most worst deliverance of an idea I've ever seen. This is fantastic idea, fantastic concept, piss poor execution. It is the most tragic, the most disappointing, and the most underwhelming experience I've had in gaming in probably 20 years. And the first thing I'm going to say about playing this game on yourself, especially, this is not going to be on myself. I'm in this with two buddies. If you see purple names above the guys around me's heads, that means that they are human controlled and the friends of mine. Uh, anybody else is AI and undoubtedly dumb as fuck because this game is completely broken. Uh, a term my friends used while we were doing this guide as we were trying to beat it on hard because it's that broken. Uh, he basically said this game is a fucking lie. And it is. Because what happens essentially is it looks like a multiplayer game. When you're sitting watching this right now, it looks as if we're online, as if we're playing against another party of people and we're moving to an objective, but this is Brink's campaign. It's, you know, completely similar. It's, it's, it's completely, well, what should I say? It is identical to what you would expect a multiplayer experience to be, but it's a, 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 a campaign. And because it looks so, you know, similar to the, the multiplayer experiences that we're all used to, you think it plays the way a multiplayer game should, and it doesn't. So, instead of it being an even playing field of gun-on-gun -gun action like a Call of Duty or a Killzone, this is, the AI have better guns than you that do more damage, they also take more damage than you do, and what it denounces and what it eventually boils into is you can get killed in two bullets, and you will, on hard, you will literally get insta-killed before you've even managed to do anything and other times you'll put a full clip into the AI and they'll drop you in a shot. It's... it's cruel. And what makes it worse is you have to do objectives and objectives that can be reset by the enemy team and it, it will come down to 10 minutes of struggling to carry something to an objective failing repeatedly and you just don't know why you're bothering or if it's even possible because it's so fucking broken. But this first objective here, you have to plant a bomb on this door. And the only person that can plant a bomb is the soldier class. And right now, uh, I'm not too sure what class I am. I might be a soldier, so I could be the guy to do this. You'll notice that I'm packing a submachine gun. And the reason for that is, on hard, the AI kills you so fast, I generally find it... Oh, no, sorry, I'm a, I'm a medic. My bad. And I'm going to be a medic for pretty much the majority of this game, because when you get downed in Brink... You go into a second chance state where a medic can revive you. And if you rely on the AI to revive you, you're going to be sitting for the entirety of the game because the AI is fucking dumb. And, I mean, well, look at this. We're three minutes into this video and you've already seen me go down four or five times. Does this look like a fun experience to you? Does this look like something that you would enjoy? Because it isn't. It is bullshit. It is broken. It is a lie. It's a complete and utter lie. It really is. But I'm going to be a medic for this, and... Oh, it's just... <laughs> if you haven't played Brink and you're curious, rent it. Stay away from this game. This really is... Uh, baffling to me. Completely baffling. But we're going to learn a lot more about my feelings on Brink. Right now, we need to push this door. And this is their spawn. So, they're going to be spawning where you need to go, and every time you die, you're going to spawn all the way back at your area, and you have to run back here. And the only way you can hit this objective is if you get enough of a presence in this room to get a plant on, and to get a bunch of your buddies camped up. So, that's my buddy there that's just been downed as he's tried to plant. He's knocked down, but he can't get up because this game has got this fucking really annoying knockdown system. There he goes, he's planting the bomb. My, my other buddy's to my left. I'm using this as cover because they'll spawn on that balcony I just looked at. They'll come from those pipes I aimed at, they'll come from behind me there. So you've just got to watch your corners, try and stay behind any cover you can find, and uh, be careful of them dropping down like that guy just did. That's when they slide to attack you, so be careful of that. And have as many medics as you can. If you can play with a full team, I would literally say, everybody be a medic, because you will spend more time dying than you will fighting in this game. 
because balancing is something they don't even know. It's like you ask balancing to them, they think gymnastics, because this game is so fucking unbalanced. This thing is like a unicyclist with one leg. There's no balance to be had. But as soon as you blow up that, your objective's done, and you'll move on to the second part of mission one. Uh, what I should have put as well is, this is the security campaign, and the mission is called Hostage Rescue, and the reason for that is right now. So, this is a, a different mechanic right away. You have to protect this uh, NPC, and what will happen is, he can get injured, he can get downed, and you have to revive him as a medic. Another thing to bear in mind is, he will not move unless you are literally balls deep in him. He's, I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, but the escorts on this mission literally mean you have to be ass to dick on this dude. Literally. You've got to be so close to him for him to even move. If you don't, he won't. So, at all times, make sure you've got either one of your buddies or yourself with the guy making him move, and the rest of your friends need to be trying to clear a path, because if they don't, you're just going to get raped, like I just did then and just kill these dudes as, as best as possible. You'll notice I stick with this SMG pretty much throughout the game because it fires so fast. Uh, I would also advise hip firing rather than aiming because the accuracy and the precision of these weapons and the random recoil is, is just... Sometimes you can't even predict it. It just feels broken and you'll notice the enemies are complete and utter bullet sponges so you have to pump in some really high amounts of rounds to kill them and the best way to do that is with the fastest firing SMGs. And the one I'm using now, I think it's called a, a Carb 9. Uh, I don't know what its real life equivalent is, but it is one of the most powerful and one of the most accurate and fast firing, so it really pays dividends here. And right now I get a nice little position on these, because there's a spawn point to the left of me. They're all running in here focusing on them dudes and I can clean them up from the side. But just be careful, because you die so fast on this game, it makes no sense. It's like, I thought this was going to be like Borderlands. I thought it was going to be this aesthetic, I thought you were going to be doing missions with your buddies, it were all going to be on the fly, you know, everybody getting different objectives and moving through a really cool campaign with different levels and different areas. And what it basically is, is six multiplayer maps that you play two different ways with two different factions. It's, it's the oh, it's the gaming equivalent of like an advent calendar. You get all excited, and then you open that fucking little door, and there's a little shitty chocolate that's made out, you know, the cheapest shit they could sweep off the factory floor. And it's just underwhelming, because you've got to wait another day to get that next piece of chocolate. And if you're like me, you just crack open the back and eat them all, and then pretend to open doors to appease your parents, because you're greedy. But it fucking sucks. Right now, the AI is actually reviving us, which is a first. He actually got my buddy up as well, and you'll notice the NPC is currently down. If you don't go up to him and stab him with a needle as a medic, he'll never move. You need to stay on this objective as much as you can. Uh, another thing to bear in mind is, the AI seems to have a dumbed-down program in them. So, if you're on a 10-minute objective, for 9 of those minutes, your AI guys are going to be looking around at the scenery, doing fuck all. As soon as that last minute turns up, they all put the try-hard pants on, and they all start being badasses. And it works both ways. So, for instance, if you're on a defensive mission, and you've got to defend a door, you'll have nine minutes of a whitewash, and then the last minute will literally be the Battle of Thermopylae. You will be, have your dick hanging between your legs, shitting your pants, because it get, can get that bad. You've just got to be so careful. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things to advise you. The, the AI as well, for some reason, they seem to prioritise doing the command centres instead of the main objective. Uh, and I blame it on Splash Damage's inability to programme AI that isn't complete and utter abortion. So, if you can run forward, or get one of your buddies if you play as a team, which I really recommend playing as many as you can, because the AI fucking sucks. Swear to God, the AI's probably got more suction on it than Jenna Jameson's entire career. It's unbelievable. And if you can if you can run with a team, which is always best, I would advise the first thing you guys should do is to hit the command post, because if you do the side objectives, the AI has nothing to dilly-dally with. All they can focus on is the main objectives, and it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. A couple of word of warnings as well with the, the, the level design. If you come up on a level where you have to escort somebody, it's generally going to be hell. If you come up on a level where you have to pick something up, escort it, and you know transfer it into a system, that is going to be the hardest parts of the game for you. If you come up on a level where you have to defend, if you can defend and they don't get past you, they will be the shortest and easiest levels. 
The only problem is, if you fuck them up, they get a lot longer. And right now, I'm just spamming the, the medic ability as quickly as I can to keep my buddies up because we're guiding him here and as soon as you get outside here, he has to walk to the boat and you've done it. But be careful because I, we failed the mission here because the AI is so bullshit. Just keep him moving, keep cleaning up people behind you. Keep swearing and cursing and raging at how bad this game is and how broken it is and how good it could have been. And look at this, me and my buddy instantly downed. I didn't even see who shot me because there's so much bullshit. This game is planet bullshit, you've got to be so patient with it. And look, spawn all the way at the back. I'm praying right now that my buddy Aiden is picking him up so that he can carry him onto the spawn and get us off this fucking level, because if he doesn't, I'm probably going to go and cause a nuclear holocaust. But run back as fast as you can, just try and get back in the fight and support your friends, because... This is unfair, there is no two words about it. The odds are so heavily stacked against you, it seems futile sometimes. It's just a, an effort in futility. But luckily enough, we've got a, eight minutes left. I come in here, I pick up my buddy. That dude's dumb as fuck, he's got his back to me. I clean him up with the gun. I revive the, the, the dude we're escorting. And it's like, come on man, come on, keep running. Let's get off this map. He's cruising in here. Just be careful because they're accurate as hell, you'll notice I'm just jumping, I'm backing up, I'm using as much cover as I can. There's a guy on a balcony there, and that is the end of the mission. So one down, five more to go in this campaign. Fingers crossed you'll have more fun than I did because this shit is bullshit. Thanks for watching you guys, I'll see you in the next video.